is AI so smart it knows when it hallucinates and it's just kind of like playing games with us here? <laughs> yeah, you know, th this is really an important topic in AI, and that's the reason. It is talking. huge. It, it is. Regardless of what, what you do, basically, AI hallucinates, and it hallucinates in different ways. It hallucinates on the content that you're working on. It hallucinates on references. But uh, it uh, it's very important, especially when you get down to medicine and finance and law and journalism. And uh, you, you don't need hallucinations in there. It's like it's Paul. Like, can I interrupt you for a sec? Uh, a great example is what happened. There was a lawyer who used raw OpenAI and ChatGPT. Uh, to go in and it made up cases that never existed oh wow and yeah. and this guy went in and the and the judge like literally just lambasted him and i think fined him and i think the new york law board uh is Probably considering disbarring kicking, or, disbarring right. yeah yeah so yeah. That's the type of thing we're talking about with uh, with hallucination. So, sorry, Paul, I just wanted to interject that. That's okay. I thought everybody kind of hallucinated. So, <laughs> <laughs> I know I do, but I'm not a bot yet. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Hold on just a second. I apologize. Um, oh, good. This is real time. This is a live show, folks. Yeah. So. yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this particular research uh, paper I, I was reading, uh, was really kind of focused on basically on uh, titles and references that are associated with, if you try and do a, uh, don't try and do a, a, an important research project on AI because you're likely to get some hallucinations. You go to one of your sources that it points you to and it might say, uh, page not found, you know, a good likelihood it does. That's a hallucination. And they found that uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the AI tends to hallucinate more on if it makes up a um, an author, it's more than likely to, to hallucinate on a, a page source. So you just you just can't. One way to try and avoid it is the fact that if you if you check every every uh, thing with it with a grounding source to try and verify the data then you get better results, but it still hallucinates even when you're using grounding. So it's like walking, uh, if you've got, imagine yourself staring at a, a, a canyon about 3,000 feet deep, and you've got a, a an iron walkway between uh, one side of the canyon to the other side of the canyon. As you get, get about in the middle, you find out that part of that's made out of wood because they had a bad engineer. And if you step on it, there's a very low probability you're going to go crashing through. But if you do, it's got disastrous results. Mm -hmm. So improbable as it is, uh, if, you, if you rely on something that uh, is important and you're doing it through AI, you may get hallucinated data. So, Well, it's um, interesting. Hey, just so I understand this, you're saying that even if I ground against it, very focused, focused and good data, it, it can still hallucinate is is that or increases the chances of hallucination no it decreases. yeah no it decreases the chance of hallucination it got it depends on, on the content yeah it depends on the content the better your content the more specific your content the less chance there is a hallucination and this paper quoted one percentage and i don't remember what it was but a very small uh what it did do it said um it, it it consistently like this was on references. It consistently identified authors for real references, but uh, it also admits that it hallucinates sometimes. You can say, "Is that real?" And it'll say, "Not uh, not that I made it up, but it'll say it's not real." So, By the way, what you just outlined is exactly the way that enterprises are looking at it, which is, yeah. "Hey, let's take a let's take an open source model." that is not necessarily uh, perfect or even documented like a like a llama 2 like by the way llama 2 and and G, 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 gpt4 you, you they don't they don't actually tell you what data they pulled in yep. and and for that matter the first titan embedded model from aws 
interestingly enough, what, what IBM did is IBM came out with their model and actually told you the source and, and they wrote a white paper on how they parsed the data to come up with, with what they did. And they indemnified you from being sued from a potential claimant on copyright. Um, mm -hmm. But this thing is heating up a uh, 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 big time here. But in the end, enterprises are not going to use any of this if if it's going to hallucinate and get a give a bad answer to a customer or you know Matt uh, you know AI ops right imagine yeah. you know hey uh, I'm going to shut down everything and everybody and yep. you know we've got Skynet essentially <laughs> right yeah. Uh, yeah on that and you're not even able to pull the plug because you know you've got uh, you know solar energy or nuclear fusion that uh skynet controls too right yeah. anyways i'm uh i'm kind of a let's push tech to the edge until we break something yeah. uh type of person but uh no this is really good stuff and in the end uh this is what enterprise care about it is they they you have to minimize hallucination and you know it's funny the uh the head of open ai sam altman was on a panel with uh mark benioff from salesforce that I, I had attended and he really talked about why it's good that it hallucinates, right? See, oh. machine machine learning and deep learning have no, per, they, they have no element of creativity, right? right? You tell it to spot, you know, the monkey swing from the tree with the banana in its hand and you ask it, you know, what is this? And it'll tell you, but you can't tell it to go off and, you know, put seven French bulldogs on a, on a show jumper horse jumping over with a red hat on, right? It's just, just not going to do that. It doesn't have the capability. So in a way, it's pulling in uh, kind of the negative of humanity uh, as well as the, as, the, as, as the positivity. So mm -hmm. I'm just hoping the Pat bot has, has better personality than, 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 than I. Um, <laughs> like he's nicer all the time. He's not as short <laughs> with people or or in bad moods that's what i'm hoping for so guys I mean, we can all we can all dream pat we can all dream big dreams no. <laughs> I mean, maybe just a couple things on this paper i thought was interesting one is that they think that the uh, model might be able to at some point realize that they're uh, hallucinating and correct it uh, they also think that uh, uh, they have an awareness of some sort that they may be hallucinating um so that's kind of spooky to me but uh anyway so it looks like them, you know, part of the research i think we're going to correct it 